The information contained in this video is not financial advice, and a failure to correctly utilize the processes outlined and networks used can result in the permanent loss of your crypto. Don't be an idiot. Follow the steps as given. I'm tired. I'm so very, very tired of fees. Just how high the Ethereum mainnet is, and how much I have to pay to get my tokens out. And, well, I mean, you have heard all this spiel before if you've watched any of my other videos. If you haven't, you really should. Also, you should like and subscribe. But this video is a bit different. This video is for mobile users who want to use Polygon when mining on Ethermine and just need to figure it out. Because using the mainnet, it's just, it's not a good idea. And there's a better way. Alright, so to get started, you're going to want to navigate on your device uh, to the Play Store, or if you're on a Apple device, you'll want to go to the App Store. And you're going to want to click on top and search for MetaMask. MetaMask is a wallet, a gateway, a signatory. Uh, it functions for many, many different things on many different networks. In this case, we're going to use it to connect to Polygon. So once it's finished downloading, uh, you can wait a moment for it to install, click on open, and it will open the application. You'll now be required, of course, to create a new profile. Um, so go on ahead and click get started. If you have an existing one, you can click import and import it from the seed or phrase. You can also sync it with a extension on your browser on your PC. In this case, we're just going to click create a new wallet. First off, it's going to ask you for a password. So go ahead and enter something extremely secure, uh, like fake password one, two, three exclamation point, and go ahead and click create password to move forward. Now, it's going to start a security video so you can watch how, you know, uh, 12 word mnemonics work and all those sort of things. Go ahead and click start. It's going to give you some warnings about setting this up and it blanks out my video. So I'm unable to show this inside <laughs> the application. So I'll just use the desktop version of my other video. It's going to generate you a secret backup phrase. Go ahead, write that down, click next, and then you're going to have to select all the words that make up that phrase that you received uh, when you went through. This is the same steps on both desktop and on mobile. Unfortunately, again, I don't have a rooted device, so I wasn't able to record it on mobile. Um, but effectively, it looks the same, and you get the gist of it. It's going to be the same thing. Write this down. Do not lose it. So the first thing the program is going to do after you generate an account is it's going to dump you into Ethereum mainnet uh, version of the wallet and we can pull the address out of this wallet, just click on it to copy it, and we can dump it into our miner. Now obviously our miner isn't going to exist on our mobile device, but you can write it down or you can slap it in a Google Drive file and copy it out of there. However you want to get it over to your computer, you're going to have to get this address over if you're setting up on mobile initially. Um, and you can just enter it into your miner, uh, start it up, make sure you save the file first, and then start mining into this new wallet. So you have your miner going, uh, you can just open up a browser and you can navigate to the Ethermine website. This is, of course, ethermine.org. Uh, once you're on the site, you can click on the uh, enter the, your miner address in the middle of the screen and paste that uh, miner address that you got out of MetaMask into there. And of course, nothing is going to be there. You're also going to notice because even though you're connected to a wallet, if you scroll down and click on connect wallet, uh, it'll give you the option to install MetaMask, and we already have MetaMask installed, so why isn't it letting us do this? This is because there's actually a special thing inside the MetaMask application, which is its own built-in browser. This is extremely easy to access. All you do is click the hamburger at the top left, that's what it's called, and then click on the browser link. Uh, this will open up a standardized browser within the MetaMask app. You can either click at the top or click on the enter URL to start searching. 
So you can just copy paste that address that we had in our browser before, or to go to eithermine.org and paste it in again, click connect wallet, select MetaMask and click connect. And it's just that easy. You're connected to the Ethermine dashboard. If you click on the drop down radio where it says dashboard at the top, uh, you'll be able to select your payment options. So go ahead and click on settings and this will bring you to a screen. Click on the payment method tab and then you'll be able to click L2 Polygon Matic, click sign and save settings and of course click sign. So now that we've configured everything on the dashboard side uh, to receive payments through Polygon, we need to go back to the wallet and set up the wallet to see Polygon. Click at the top where it says wallet and it'll show you all the pre-configured networks. Polygon's not in there. Close that up, click the hamburger again, and click on settings. Inside the settings, click on networks and click add network at the bottom. And we're gonna add the Polygon RPC to MetaMask. So the network name is Polygon Mainnet or Polygon Network. The RPC URL is HTTPS colon slash slash Polygon hyphen RPC.com. The chain ID is 137. The symbol is of course all capitals Matic. And the block explorer is HTTPS colon slash slash Polygon scan.com. So now we are connected to the Polygon Network through MetaMask. As you can see, we have nothing here because we haven't mined anything yet. We can only also see the Matic token, which is the default token on Polygon. So to see more, we click on the browser, click at the top to go to a different URL, and let's go to https colon slash slash wallet.polygon.technology. And I want to remind you that all the links in this video will be in the video description below. So once this wallet loads, uh, you can see there's a bunch of different options. There's a Polygon wallet, there's a bridge, don't use the bridge. Uh, and there's a staking option as well. Go ahead and connect to a wallet at the top left. We can click on MetaMask, of course, because that's what we're using. We'll get a signature request. Go ahead and click connect. Uh, we'll get another signatory. Go ahead and click sign. Give it a moment, and then we'll have connected MetaMask to Polygon. Uh, so we can go ahead and click on that Polygon wallet. Uh, there's some other stuff. If you click on the apps, we'll talk a little bit more about that later. So, you know, just go ahead and click on the wallet, and we have a grand total of nothing. Immediately at the very top, we of course have Ethereum, so tap on that. And it'll come up with a bunch of actions, click on MetaMask, and this will bring up a Add Suggested Token option, and click on Add Token, and this will add Ethereum token to MetaMask on the Polygon network. If we go back to the wallet, suddenly it appears. So normally this is where I would show you how to use the faucet, but I don't recommend using the faucet anymore. Uh, you use Matic to fund transactions on Polygon and usually the faucet gives you enough, but that's not the case since they increased the base cost. So go to your browser and go back to the Polygon wallet, that's wallet.polygon.technology, and once it loads, click at the radial at the top right, uh, or the hamburger as we like to call it, and if you tap on that, you'll have an option to pull up the apps, and at the bottom it says swap for gas. This allows you to swap your Ethereum or other tokens to Matic, so you have gas to afford other transactions. You can tap on the dropdown and you'll get a series of different tokens that are available with this. Uh, either USDT or probably the most functional. Tap on the top uh, how much Matic you want. Usually one is more than enough for multiple transactions. Click on approve. It's gonna take a moment. Click on sign going to take a moment, a couple moments, transactions in progress, it says it's fast, but you know, and then it's done. You can click on swap and then wait a little bit longer and then sign another transaction. But ultimately at the end of all this, you get Matic in your wallet that you can use to fund your transactions without having to send it from off-chain or beg from somebody on Discord or other frustrating things. And there's our Matic. So, as you can see, we've received our Matic. We've got our first payout. Uh, if you go to the browser, you know, we can go to the Polygon wallet and we can see all of those same amounts there. You'll notice that the pool gives you a 0.001 Matic uh, to help you fund your transactions. This is 
helpful, but unfortunately not helpful enough. You can tap on tokens and click MetaMask and click add token. And if you go back, it'll be visible within your Polygon wallet, or you can click on the bridge. If you're feeling brave, don't use the bridge. Don't use the bridge. The bridge. Don't use it. Ultimately, there are a lot of things you can do on Polygon uh, besides using the bridge. You can go to quickswap.exchange, which is a decentralized exchange or a DEX, um, which I go over elaborately in a lot of my other videos. Uh, you got to click on connect anytime you connect to a DEX for the first time. Uh, you can swap tokens here. Anything that's available on the Polygon network, or for the most part, anything that's available, you can swap here. Uh, just click on it and you can move to any of these coins for pennies. Sushi.com is another fine DEX. They have a lot of different coins. Uh, there are lots of DeFi or decentralized finance opportunities, places like beefy.finance or Gravity Finance. Watch for my getting started with DeFi on Polygon video soon. And that, as they say, is it. So, I implore you, if you like this video, like and subscribe. If you didn't like the video, well, I hope you found some use out of it anyway, because there isn't a whole lot out there about how to do this. Speaking of, I have a bunch of other videos on Polygon. How to get your tokens out of Polygon. How to get your tokens out of Polygon to an exchange that doesn't support Polygon. How to get your tokens out of Polygon to an exchange that uh, only supports BSC. And if you really just wanted to have a really nice, clear overview of that whole gasless matic process, I got a video for that too. I got upcoming videos again on DeFi. I got upcoming videos again on rug pulls. And if you have something that you'd like to see, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks.